Good morning, everybody. Welcome to November 3rd, 2020, Election Day. I did my civic duty. I was voter number 16 at my local precinct. Now I'm on my way to work. And I want to talk to you for a moment today about control. And especially in this day of a historic election where people are emotionally tied to the outcome of this election. Um, I like to say that uh, America has become bipolar. Um, everybody seems to be completely one way or completely the other, and the middle ground of uh, sanity and balance seems to uh, have escaped uh, the large portion of us. Um, so, cast your ballot, do your civic duty, and then let it go. Because you don't have any control outside of casting your ballot. Even that, the, the outcome is still going to be decided by the 563 electors that are already party aligned. So, paying attention and watching all of the aftermath after you've cast your ballot, it's going to serve zero mentally healthy purpose. So what I encourage you to do is cast your ballot and move on. Then focus your attention on give your employer the best that you have to offer today. And with everybody that you come in contact with today, realize that they are probably very emotionally charged one way or the other. So extend to them a little extra kindness put away whatever you think is or should be the outcome and just try to build relationships with the people around you. And when you get home to your family tonight, turn the TV off. You have zero control over what the outcome of this is going to be. Watching it on TV is only going to take you away from the things that you do have control over. You have control over building quality memories with those around you and the people that you love. So turn that TV off, play a game with your family, and let them know how much you love and care about them. Because tomorrow, is gonna bring most likely not a result. It's probably going to drag on for some time. Uh, and so spend this time being extra kind to the people around you today when you're out in the world. And when you get home, spend that time with your family and let them know that you love them. And those are memories that you'll want to keep rather than the memories of all of the stuff that's going to be ensuing. So, be kind to everybody that you come in contact with and realize that in their head they're going through some stuff. Then, when you get home, love your family. Now, it's time for you to rise and shine.